Here's a quick tutorial to show you how to do a thermal analysis in Onshape and SimSolid. Okay, here's my model of uh, heat sink with the chip at the bottom and this aluminum heat sink at the top in Onshape. I go over to my SimSolid Cloud tab, and here's the same model. And to do a thermal analysis, it's just it's very simple. I only have to do a few steps. First, create thermal analysis. Second, specify my boundary conditions. So I want to put uh, specified temperature at the chip at the bottom. So let's just pick here and let's assume it's about 85 degrees C. Okay, the next thing I need to do is specify my convection on all the fins. Now this is typically pretty tedious. You have to select all these different surfaces, but in some solid, there's a really easy way to do it. Let's just get a side view. And then I'll go up here and say, create uh, convection. And I'll assume that my ambient temperature is 22 degrees C and I have a convection coefficient of about 300. Now I have to pick all these faces and I can pick them individually, but if I just hold the control key down and drag a box, I can get them all at one step. There, so all those surfaces are selected, all the convection coefficients although there are a ton, are right there, and I just say OK, and now I'm good to go. So I have my boundary conditions, I have my model. Uh, since I don't have to make a mesh, it's very simple. I just say Analyze, pick that model, and solve it. There we go. So here's our thermal results. And you can see that um, you know, the chip is very hot, but the temperature cools down across the fin. If you want to see the max and min, you can do you can just pick it here and drag those around. Uh, and if you want to query the model, you can do that as well. Just come here and pick here and maybe pick a few points here and here and here here, something like that, and you can see the dis distribution of the temperature. And in fact, if you want to see an average value, just select all of them together and you get a nice average. Okay, so that's how you do a thermal analysis in Onshape and some solid. Thanks for watching.